What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome to my first glance FIFA 16 review. And if you guys have been following me on Snapchat or Twitter at Dirty Mike USA, then you're well aware I'm in Los Angeles, California. I was running an event with Adidas and I've had the opportunity to play quite a bit of FIFA 16. And I'm going to give you guys everything that I'm looking forward to, some of my areas of concerns and a new sectional where I'm just going to talk about things that are debatable or I didn't get enough information to really make an opinion or to share a lot of that goodness and I want you guys to go ahead and drop some comments if you enjoy the content you want more fifa 16 early access drop a thumbs up let's roll let's get started with the excitement and the volleys are back a1 steak sauce mashed potatoes and gravy weak foot strong foot it does not matter i scored a couple beauties and fifa is all about creating moments of magic and i really felt it with the volleys i played a lot of 1v1 as well as 2v2 matches and i was using only the head-to-head -head game mode uh, career mode and fut were not available however i did do a little bit of a mini interview with the EA guy I might have gotten some exclusive information we're gonna see if I drop it in this video I don't want to step on anyone's toes and finesse shots look good to go as well on 1v1s and right outside on the edge of the box I felt like we have a new overpowered finesse shot uh, if the game carries on this is not the final build but it's got to be pretty close to it at this point uh, in the installment and the launch date's not far away end of September we have goalkeeper red cards I witnessed it myself and I haven't seen goalkeeper red cards in years I can't remember the last time and it should be there sometimes you get wiped out and the goalkeeper needs to be eliminated from the match he's got to go uh, driven passing is one of the best new features uh, that EA's talked about in trailers and you hold RB and it allows you to switch the pitch whether an aerial switch or on the ground it's just a very uh, precise pass and I'm thinking players like Lampard, Gerrard, Pirlo are going to be a little bit more valuable because surely accuracy and validity is going to be hurt if you're not capable of making this pass. And then the national team. I use the women's national team and I'm not going to spoil it. However, if you guess in the comments down below, we might be able to discuss it. There is a five-star skiller on the women's national squad. At least uh, the game that I played had a five-star skiller. And when you see uh, a woman scoop turning, fake Barbonas, Rainbow flicks. Oh, I was I was definitely feeling a certain type of way. Um, you've also got different touches. If you are receiving a pass and it comes with you on a bounce, a lot of times the first touches are not so precise. And I think that's good. It's more realistic for you guys that are fans of realism and simulation. You enjoy that. The pace has been reduced. The game modes are a little bit slower, which I don't know if I love that, but I do enjoy that you can't just sprint, 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 sprint. Even a player like Ronaldo or Bale, no, it's not going to work. you got to have more than just the sprint. And the deep shots are overpowered. I scored a couple from real far away, including like a 40 two yard Ibrahimovic rocket when I'm looking at areas that concern me it does not mean that this is going to be bad or that I've decided that this could be an issue it's just something that makes me think a little bit more and I wanted to start with goalkeepers being a little bit suspect I saw a back pass that went back to the goalkeeper he did not react it turned into an own goal and that just brings back memories of FIFA 15 and you don't want to see a rinse wash and repeat of own goals where the goalkeeper and the AI just didn't match up I think no matter what EA does this position will always be very debatable we critique the hell out of goalkeepers and I'm I do it as well so I can't really put too much emphasis on the goalkeeper situation if they're too good we're complaining if they're too bad or they let in easy goals we complain hey it is what it is but they did have moments of looking suspect uh, the skill move reduction scares me uh, I've never seen the drag back or the body faint look so slow in my life and with slower gameplay hard to pull those off however some of the three star and four star skill moves, they look good. The scoop turn was on point, the fake shot, I liked it. Uh, we also had the Megidi, which was an upgrade from what I've seen in FIFA 15. Uh, and the Burba looked very similar, the Roulette looked very similar. And I don't know if there's going to be a lot of new skill moves or things along those lines, but with slower pace, typically equals less skills. And it hurt my heart to see the body faint and the drag back basically get half sized, where they were going about half the speed and that makes things tough. And I didn't feel like EA was addressing anything with career mode, and I didn't get an opportunity to play career mode, 
but I just don't think there's going to be a massive new announcement regarding career mode. This is my gut feeling. I don't have any insider trading or additional information, but for all you guys that are hoping for a 2K or a Madden type of career mode or an online career mode, I don't know that it's going to happen. I just I can't believe. I can't believe. I feel like they would announce something at this point. And I want to mention that work rates are different. Some player ratings that I've seen, they're a little bit different. Even Aguero, he did not have a high low work rate anymore. It was high medium. And if you have questions about other player ratings, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to kind of like leak out some information if I can, but I don't want to get people too upset and I haven't seen the finalized ratings, but I can kind of tell you what I've seen, what I liked, if there was a big change or not so much. A lot of people kind of have ideas based on how EA goes about things. Uh, I will say Eber didn't have five star skills in this, uh, this playthrough, which hurt, it hurt. I want that upgrade. In the final segment, I'm looking at areas that are debatable, some new announcements, things where time might be the only way to indicate if this was going to be a good look or if it was a bad addition to FIFA 16. And one of their big announcements was no touch dribbling. And I played around with it a little bit, but it's impossible to master within a couple hours. And it is different. And I want to get a little more of this under my belt, but with slower gameplay, stopping the ball, or having the stationary new element, I don't know if if it's good or bad I feel like if the gameplay was quicker it would make for a better addition but I could be completely wrong and I just wanted to throw that out there and the defending they made a lot of announcements about new slide tackles and new animations and I still haven't had a lot of time to play around with all of that but my normal FIFA 15 defending seemed very effective when I was playing FIFA 16 as I stated before I didn't lose any matches in fact I was scoring five six seven goals in some of these games and that could just be based on my opponents not adjusting as quick or just not playing as well but I'm not sure that the defending was something that was that noticeable for me where I was like damn I've never seen that animation I've never seen this breakdown and the contain button is still in FIFA 16 which I hate I hate I hate I need it to go away because people just abuse and, and sit back and relax. And then the last thing I wanted to touch on, I thought the graphics were just a small improvement. I'm hoping that EA does some final touch-ups, but what is really cool is they actually got player faces for every single female in the game. So every international squad that you're going to get to use with the females, they have their legit player faces. And I even thought the builds were decent. They weren't as blocky as what we saw in the initial trailers. But if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at DirtyMikeUSA and Instagram at DirtyMikeVision. I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP. And remember to drop some comments. This video could have so many different debatables and questions. And I'm going to try to get back to as many people as possible possible.